Bolanter Class Introduction to Drive Control Integrated Hardware Control Cabinet The front of the robot control cabinet is mainly equipped with a power switch, operation status indicator, emergency stop button, power input interface and control cabinet nameplate. Robot name, robot specifications, production date, machine number, voltage, current, rate, arm span, loading ability. Robot weight will be written on the nameplate. The control cabinet nameplate is consistent with the robot body nameplate. The correct voltage needs to be connected. Based on the nameplate information, the upper left is robot power switch. After connecting sufficient power, move up to start the robot. Three indicator lights are in the middle. To indicate the current status of the robot, green light is current status of the robot. Orange light is stop. Red light is the alarm state. Red button on the right. It has the same function of teaching pendant. Press it to lock each axis and make the robot emergency stop. Let's see the inside of control cabinet. This is the power modules. These three are axes modules. They are 1N6 axis servo module, 2N5 axis servo module, and 3N4 axis servo module. This is the IO module. It can control 30 to sets of outputs and inputs. Right side are two cooling fans and a filter. Left side are two power supplies and brake relay bore. Let's see behind the control cabinet. There are two standby I.O. interfaces and an external I.O. interfaces. These are two external serial ports. It will be used in joint production of multiple robots. Next to it is Ethernet connection port and the interface for connecting the teaching pendant. Below are the encoder line and power line interfaces. Above is the bull launcher class, introduction of control cabinet. Any questions about the content, welcome to ask questions in the comments. Follow me for more technical information.